Before we get this started, I just want to say that I know a lot of you guys are trying to grow your Discord servers out there, so make sure to copy and paste the invite link for your Discord server in the comment section of this video so we can get you feedback, we can get you members, and help grow. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, my name is Rishabh, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up reaction roles in your Discord server. You may have seen bots like Me6 attempt to do this with various emojis and reactions, but today I'm going to be showing you guys something else, how to set up reaction roles using yagpdb.xyz. So let's just get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to our Discord menu and select a channel that we want to set up roles in. I'm going to do this in my alt server called Cafe Development. Over here we have a channel called Roles. So let's say we want to set up some roles in here. So you can give a quick intro message to your users, such as uh, get your reaction roles here. All right, so then that way our users know exactly what to do in this channel. So now let me show you how you can set up the reaction roles. And to do that, it's actually very simple. What you're going to want to do is open a new tab and head over to a website. It's called yagpdb.xyz. I'll repeat that, yagpdb.xyz. I'll have the link in the description for ease. After going to this link, you'll appear on this little live page here, which is really nice, and it talks about self-assignable roles. And YAGPDB has a very advanced menu for setting up these roles. In fact, I highly recommend it. It's very customizable and is really amazing. So you may be wondering, how do we get it started? The answer is quite simple. In this top left corner, you'll see this little menu that says Add to Server. We can go ahead and open that. Alright, YAGPDB is going to want to connect to our Discord server, so I'm going to specify my server, Cafe Development, and press continue. After doing so, YAGPDB will grant these administrative access. Okay, the administrator permission is not to be worried, YAGPDB is a bot in 742,000 servers, so trust me, it is 100% perfect if you give it the administrator access, and there's nothing to worry about. One quick note, if you do not see your server listed here, it means you need to have the managed server permission or administrator access. So make sure you give yourself that access before proceeding. So after doing that, simply press the continue button. After doing that, press the authorized blue button. Complete the CAPTCHA to verify that you're not a robot. And just like that, YAGPDB will redirect itself to the control panel. The control panel is really amazing and is very well designed by YAGPDB's developer, Jonas747, and honestly, it's just amazing. So let me get into how to use it. In this top right corner, you'll see a little button that says select server. Here you can select the server uh, that you want to optimize or you want to set up. So here I'm going to select cafe development. Alright, so after doing so, you'll see the various commands and their usages. Over here we have the core commands, notifications and feeds, very useful stuff right here, tools and utilities, and fun. So what we're going to go for is tools and utilities. Click on the auto roll section. Now guys, before I get into how to do this, I just want to say that only 0.1 4% of you are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel, so please consider subscribing. I'll appreciate it a lot, and it really only takes a few seconds. So yeah, just go ahead and subscribe. I thank you all so much. Each and every one makes a huge difference. All right, so let's set up auto rolls. How do we do this? Head over to the auto roll menu right here, and we can set up some groups. All right, so automatically assign members this role. When users join, we can set up a role for them to automatically join. This is useful for verification systems. Say you want to give users a muted role, all right? So first you create a muted role and just specify it over here and give it to the bot. And within a few minutes, you can specify that as well, zero minutes, one minute, five minutes, and it will verify the user, all right? So that's how you use a verification system. Now we're going to talk about reaction roles, or basically when a user reacts with an emoji, what exactly happens. So to do that, we're going to create a new group. Now here's where you want to have some thinking, alright? You need to think about various groups that you might want to have for reaction roles. It could be things like, you know, nationalities, 
such as you know from us asia africa europe those types of things you could also have roles like gender male female other things like that you could also have groups such as specialties if a user is a youtuber if a user is a coder a streamer things like that there's so many options that you have all you have to do here is create a new group so let's create a group for this purposes of this video, since my server is a development server, I'm going to have a, a simple role that is called specialty. And inside this group, I'll have a few things uh, such as coding and a few others. So here, what you're gonna wanna do is specify the standard permission and requires role, um, I'm going to ignore that and ignored roles, that should be fine. All right, so after doing that, press create new group. All right, so now that we've got the role menu group set up here, I've just named it specialty and that's it. That's all we need. And we're gonna go over here into our Discord server. All right, YAGPDB is a bot obviously and its prefix is the dash. So all the commands for YAGPDB start with dash. All right, so what we're gonna do over here is simply type in dash ping, P-I-N-G, press enter. YAGPDB will now display a ping message displaying how fast it's running. If you do not see a message from YAGPDB, it could be two things. First, click on the YAGPDB in the members list. If it's not there, first scroll to find it or head over into your set settings and members list. After doing so, you'll see the YAGPDB bot right here. Hover over this icon right here, the circle, and it should show something like an online, muted, or various other options. If the bot is online, that means that it's working, but you have not set it up properly. So that means YAGPDB needs administrator access. If it's offline, that's unfortunate. That means it won't be working for the next hour, potentially even a day. But typically YAGPDB is a great bot and it's usually online. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's create our role menu. So in order to do that, we can do the simple command dash role menu, create, and then our role group name. So over here, I just have to do role menu create, and then our role name, our group name, which is specialty, and press enter, and it's gonna say no commands in this group, set them up in the control panel. So that's great, we've got the first step down. Now let's create the command for the group. For the role, we're going to call it, let's say, coder. And the group specialty, and we are going to make a new role. Head over into server settings, go to roles, and make sure that the YAGPDB role is at the top. All right, that's very, very important. Or have it above the role that you're creating. So for example, coding. And we have the YAGPDB role above it. All right, so now that we've got that saved, you can go ahead and refresh your YAGPDB control panel, make sure all changes are saved. And here you can specify, let's say, role coding, and we're gonna give it the coding role. Requires no roles, and we're not gonna ignore. Create new role command, and you'll see this little icon here. Coding, specialty group, role, and it has no parameters here. We can go ahead and save that. Now, let's rerun the command. Role menu, create specialty. All right, so YAGPDB has responded with this role menu setup message, and all we have to do is add the reaction for the role that we want. So basically what this will have is when a user reacts with a certain emoji, it will give them that role. So for coding, I'm going to choose something like a computer, because that would be perfect. All right, so now it's done setting up. We can delete all of these messages and have it just like this. Now, it's exactly what you guys are thinking. All you have to do is run this command in your roles channel. So press role menu create specialty and then react with the emoji that you want on it. So for example, I'm going to do computer and it'll pop up just like that. And now we can delete all of these messages. Just like that. And what you'll have here is a little role menu and essentially when you react on it, it will give you a role and bam, 
Just like that, so simple, very easy, only took us a few minutes. Now, is this not working for you? Because for a lot of you guys, you guys are gonna have some trouble or you're not following one of the steps in the video and it might have some issue. So in server settings, first of all, make sure that the YAG PDB rule is above all of the other rules that you want to give. Second of all, make sure that the emoji you're using is from a server that, uh, just make sure that it's in the server that you're using, all right? That's the easiest way to make sure that it's there. So for example, this computer emote, it's a global emote, works on any server I have, so it's good. Another thing I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about is how to add multiple reaction rules. All you have to do for that is create new rule commands. So for here, I can add role instead of coding, I'll add YouTuber and I could just create that new role command. It will be added to the group. I can go ahead and save it. And just like that, we've got ourselves another rule. And you can just do this and you can keep on doing it to add more reactions and more types of roles with YAGPDB. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I have a lot more Discord tutorials just like this to help you guys grow your Discord servers, so make sure just to wait out for a few more seconds for the end screen so you guys can see those videos and those playlists. So just like that, I'll see you guys in the next one.